You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that's kind of like, duh, okay, but don't add to the chaos. What's okay? an example? So that could be um, uh, when they call in, making it difficult to schedule. Mm-hmm. Walk them through 100 questions. <laughs> well, is the leak on the top of the roof or is it on the bottom of the roof? Or is it is there a cat in the window? <laughs> or is there a car in the driveway? Is it a one-inch line or a two-inch okay, line? Okay, this happened at between 2 and 3 a.m. in the morning <laughs> or 2 and 2.10 2, a.m. in the morning. Or, <laughs> Does you know, it happen only when you use? It right. or about, all yeah. that oh, make, make it difficult God. to just don't add okay right. right right from the very beginning right get the call scheduled in fact that's the number one in fact that's the only job of your CSR is to book the call book the call okay the- not to do paperwork not to do you may have to do all this other stuff certainly okay but the whole everything with centers around getting the call booked okay Today. make it easy Today. for Mrs. Jones to book the call, okay. Today. Also, um, He's not listening to me at yeah, all. okay. <laughs> um, um, I'm thinking I've already, you know, some, you know, so many yes. different things here, like creating okay. the chaos. Look, we're going into their environment. Mm-hmm. You know, even pulling up. Home. Believe me, they, they're aware of you pulling up. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, and, they're looking. Right. Out okay. The window, right? So don't do you know silly things like park in the middle of the driveway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. And especially don't park in a driveway if you got a truck that you know that's dripping oil or something like Ooh, that. Gosh, okay, yeah. making your guys aware, well, you know that they they shouldn't be doing that. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't walk through their grass. <laughs> that don't. kind of stuff. You know, we're already <laughs> invading. You know, we're already literally invading their territory. Mm-hmm. You know, we might as well be the you know the mob or something coming in and just <laughs> destroy. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? There's that that emotional. We're already uh, we're, don't um, be flipping cigarette butts. Yeah, don't be getting out and dropping <laughs> dropping the garbage in their yard and you know mm-hmm. flipping cigarette butts and mm-hmm. right yep. okay. That, uh, see, that kind Nathan of, said I, had, I told a customer that nobody wants to pay for plumbing. Plumbing isn't sexy. She told me nothing more sexy than having a working toilet. Right, that's a good customer. That, that, to that's have. a good customer right there. <laughs> Take care of the customer. Right, exactly. That's good. You know, um, don't create uh, more of a mess mm. than what what was already there. What was already there. Right. Okay. Leave the area better. Right. You but when you're it. when you're working, that's you know don't when you're working, don't be working having all this all your tools all out in their granite countertops mm. or Formica countertops doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's their well, countertop. Right. right. Mm. Um, and don't do. I don't know if you have this or not. John might be jumping the shark. Um, but don't be um, when you see what the problem is. Don't be all ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh. Oh, the, oh, yeah, oh, oh, this this gonna, this is gonna cost you. Right. <laughs> this this not be cheap. This not be cheap. This not be cheap. <laughs> Okay, or oh, I don't, I don't know what that could be. Because that, that gives that gives um, insecurity, right, to Mrs. Jones, right? Because already insecure, right? It just adds to the insecurity. Like, okay, this is a new problem that you've never seen, but it also is, it also equates to it is going to cost me, right? Right. They already so know it's probably keep your co- ums and oo and ahs, uh, right, to yourself. Like I, I had never seen anything like this before, right? <laughs> keep that stuff to yourself. <laughs> even, <laughs> if you have, okay. even if you have to go out to the truck and right. call somebody, right. like right. I have never seen Which is hap- anything like this before in my life. Right. <laughs> right. Don't do it. For right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know anyone we can call? <laughs> well, there we go. Don't add to the chaos. Right. Okay. Don't pee on the side of the house. <laughs> there are cameras. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Which is probably has happened. You're probably speaking from experience. Exactly. Thank you for bringing you know, the show up just another level right. above water. It's that kind boy. of night. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. Don't add to Don't the chaos. Don't add to our chaos, okay. Patrick. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Number two. Number two. Mm-hmm. All right. What do we have here? Assure that it will be done today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let them know that they'll be taken care of today. On the phone, I, let I, them know. I think you, you alluded to this. Yes. You schedule for today. Mm-hmm. Not tomorrow. Not the next day. They didn't call. You know, you know they want it done today. In mm-hmm. fact, that's the number one concern that... Um, service customers have mm-hmm. will i be taken care of right. today not they how much up. it costs no and then mm-hmm. well will they show up is right right, right beside mm-hmm. it in fact we had experts we just had our 
our uh, air go out. Mm-hmm. HVAC went out, <laughs> which is a bit of a problem. We, which is in not October very right in Florida. You know, it's still eighty degrees. It got to be eighty degrees. You know, man. and we're when you're sweating. But, but we were not complaining. Not complaining because we, cause live we love it. Right. Yes. We're here, so <laughs> not ain't gonna complain. We woke no. up to a beautiful sunrise. <laughs> we did. We and had a sweaty, beautiful sunset tonight. But... <laughs> right. <laughs> we're already sweating. <laughs> okay, but but the number one concern really is: Will they really get here today? Right. It's, you know, well, mm-hmm. can when I when I'm talking with them. Right. That, in fact, it was, you know, it's not how much will it cost or what's the service. What's, mm. well, oh, man, I hope you're going to get me today. You're going to get me today. You're going to get me today. Mm-hmm. The same thing is with your plumbing customers, right. okay? Mm. Because they want they want to get their life back. We're right. back to save their day. They want their day back. They don't want to, you know, part of the chaos is now I got to remember, I got to get scheduled this for Friday, mm-hmm. you know. And, and, yeah, and you got to walk through what your schedule's like and rearrange right. and everything. So. Well, I already took off today, or I already know today that I'm about to deal with this, so I took care of things mentally. Right. Okay. Take care of it today. today. Assure them mm-hmm. that it'll be taken care of today. Yeah. Let them know on the phone. Okay. Let it. them know mm-hmm. and book it for today. Right. Yes. And, and Double you, book. Yes. Right. And then when you get out there um, to the job and analyze mm-hmm. it, I mean, sometimes, yes, some jobs have to spill over to another day because it's a big, big job or whatever. But... Assure the if it's not assure the customer we're going to take care of it. Don't put it off for another day. Don't allow your your techs to put it off for another day. That's always um, right. was a thing. Three o'clock rolls around and all of a sudden nobody wants to put a job finish the job. It's the same it's day. today. Mm-hmm. In fact, I knew I experienced it. I experienced it with our HVAC guy. Mm. Yeah, it was a, it was, it was a copper night. line. I know, you know, <laughs> he didn't know that I've been a plumber and what I knew a little bit about HVAC or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so it really started we, last night. We had a leak, a, a, a copper return line is leaking. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it leaked all the refrigerant. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what it was. And, and right. Yeah. And so it's an e- why couldn't he copper, why, why couldn't he sweat it or replace it or repair it last night? Mm-hmm. And don't you carry the, the oils, and, you know, mm-hmm. on the van? I mean, that's what that's what you do. Pretty sure he didn't want to do it at eight o'clock last night. He didn't want to do it last night, <laughs> yeah. eight o'clock on a on a Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's that's what, that's it, what it came down to. Right, but he was out today, so right. I would have preferred to have had it done right same day. Okay, the I would have been gladly do, right. to have it done the same day. Right. So okay, um, get it done. Assure them it will be, be done, done today. Today, this All right. very day.